Hi there, Tracy Irvine with uh, livingfreelife.com and uh, nodietmethod.com. I wanted to talk to you today about perceptions uh, and how sometimes we just assume that other people are just trying to irritate us or they just don't care. We come up with these things, uh, at these situations in our mind that we project onto people when it's really our stuff. So I wanted to tell you about a funny experience that happened yesterday and then again this morning. And I was going to make a video yesterday and didn't get to it. And now I'm kind of glad because it just made me giggle this morning when it happened again. Uh, yesterday afternoon uh, for I was for lunch. I decided I wanted to have an egg on toast. Uh, and uh, without going into the long story short, it's been a long time because uh, I, I just really don't do eggs that often. Um, and uh, But we bought this um, the Ezekiel bread, which I love. Uh, it's, it's like a, a sprouted wheat bread. Or sprouted grains I don't know but anyway so we bought some Ezekiel bread and somehow I just got this craving in my head of I've got to have an egg on toast and so I went to the store and bought just one of those little six pack of eggs and uh, my husband I thought had fixed his lunch and you know how it is egg on toast you want it like right when the egg is done otherwise you eat old cold egg on toast so I'm like playing around and making sure that I'm not starting my egg uh, and my toast until it looks like his lunch is done. Uh, just side note, we rarely eat the same food. Uh, just what makes him feel good doesn't make me feel good. So we hardly, we, we just each fix our own lunch. And so it uh, looks like everything's done. He's got his lunch ready. I start my egg. I start my toast. Just as my egg and toast are done, He's like disappeared, like back in the bedroom doing something or something. And I'm like, grr, you know. And then I realized, because, you know, this is my work. I, I, I do the mind-body inner work. And I realized I'm feeling grr. And I'm thinking, it's not his fault. <laughs> He's just innocently back there doing his thing. I can project onto him of, ah, he knows I'm fixing my egg on toast. And he knows it's only good when it's hot and why did he go back there or yada 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 I could choose to allow my body to fill with stress and blame him for my lack of communication for my not saying you know honey I want to make sure I, I eat my egg hot so I'm gonna wait to start my egg and until after you've sat down at the table uh, is that good with you you know respect you know, ask him, would that work out with him? That maybe he could take a little book to read or something like that in the, th you know, or article he's been waiting to read in a magazine uh, in the three minutes that it would take for my egg to cook so that I can have my egg hot. I didn't do that. So it wasn't his fault. And so I had a choice at that very moment to decide to pitch the egg that um, I just made because obviously it won't be a nice, yummy, runny yolk that I like. Uh, or... I could say, I'm either, I'm just going to eat a cold egg, you know, and so I made the choice of just enjoying my cold egg on cold toast is what I decided to do. And, and my dear, sweet, loving husband, I've got the most amazing husband, by the way, whenever he saw what happened and I was sitting down eating the cold egg, uh, he was like, oh, honey, why don't you just pitch that and start over, you know, because again, that's what's in his heart. When I first felt the grr, I wanted from pride issues or whatever. I don't know what these subconscious things are goes on in our silly heads. But, you know, I wanted to get upset with him like it was his fault that I didn't plan ahead. Uh, but he really had in his heart, you know, that I get to eat warm food. And uh, so anyway, I was like, nah, 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 ate it anyway. And I thought, I'm going to make a video about this because I know a lot of my clients, they project onto their spouses, their kids, and people in traffic and everywhere, you know, as if those people have bad intent in their heart. And that's not what's going on. So anyway, just to finish this video, it was so funny because this morning, uh, it was like deja vu uh, with the situation. Um, I have a simple breakfast most mornings because uh, um, I prefer to, to eat snacks like every couple of hours. I don't like have a timer go off or anything, but as I feel my body waning, I, I snack on nuts or whatever. 
And so I don't have a big breakfast, even though I know the experts claim you've got to. Listen, I'm telling you, I lose weight without dieting, and I don't have a big breakfast. I don't need a big breakfast. That's not what works for my body. So I get up in the morning, I make iced coffee, uh, even in the winter, and I typically have like a whole grain Pop-Tart that I get off of Vitacost.com. And so, but I do like my Pop-Tart hot. I'm a either hot or cold person. I don't like lukewarm coffee, lukewarm food, hot or cold. That's just me. Again, it's just me. So I make sure that, you know, my husband says that, you know, he's going to soak his oatmeal and all this kind of stuff because he has cold soaked oatmeal typically. And uh, so I let him soak his oatmeal. I come back. I do 15 minutes of work while his oatmeal soaking. He says it's ready. I go in the kitchen. I stick down my Pop-Tart. My coffee's already made because it's iced coffee. And he disappears. And I was like, seriously? I waited for your oatmeal to get soaked. You called and said your oatmeal was ready. Or not called, he texted me, you know, so I could come out of the office and come, come eat and stuff like that. And then he disappears. Again, what was I starting to do? Seriously? Like, I'm about to blame him. I'm going to blame him because I made the assumption that he was ready to sit down and eat. He was just notifying that his was ready when I was ready. He wasn't in a hurry. And so, again, it was this lack of communication. So, rather than getting upset with the other person, why don't you make sure that everything's in place if you're going to be so full of yourself, which I mean, I'm not saying that in a bad way, but, you know, like, it's got to be your way or you're not going to be happy. Well, then make sure it's going to be your way. All I needed to do was, again, doesn't take long for Pop-Tart to pop, you know, to, to heat, is to ask the question, honey, are you ready to sit down and eat? Because I'm going to put down my Pop-Tart and I want to eat it hot. I just need to make my statement, you know, and then ask, is that good with you? And because I've got this amazing husband, he would say, of course, honey. And uh, and so he would make sure that, you know, I'm going to put down my Pop-Tart. He'll be ready when it's hot. Voila. I don't have to have stress in my body. I can choose to be happy. And if my Pop-Tart comes up and he's disappeared, again, I can choose to wait till he comes back, stick it back down to rewarm it. Or I can just eat a cold Pop-Tart. But it's up to me to make the choice. Do I want to just remake the food? Or do I want to stay upset and cause my body to store fat because I'm hanging on to stress? But the main thing for you is just choose to be happy and, and choose to accept responsibility instead of blaming others for your negative attitude. All right? So that's the tip for today. Thank you for joining me. Tracy Irvine at livingfreelife.com.